This is a very international operation. We're here in the middle of Europe. We had Simon come out from the U.S. and Mohini came out from India. We're here to rock your socks off, I'll be honest. We have a special newcomer into the project, Mohini Day. This is the first time we've actually got to play together and record together. It's quite amazing, it really is, and uh, I think it really, it really suits this project. Simon and I have worked together for one song remotely uh, for an artist, for an Indian artist. And uh, since then we just, you know, uh, wanted to work with each other in person. And finally we got together uh, because of Darwin, you know, he put this project together and he wanted me on bass. I can't believe we finished like, what, 12 songs in the past, just a little over a week. So yeah, it's pretty... Uh, astonishing to uh, see the progress and all the tracks are sounding incredible. When you guys got together out there and recorded it, I was amazed when I heard it back. Stuff you guys put in in the beginnings of songs, yeah. these epic huge things and then it goes into the song, it was like wow, yeah. where the heck did that come yeah, from? That's, uh, yeah, Darwin is full of surprises. <laughs> Matt makes it sound amazing and he translates the ideas into these you know, pitch perfect harmonies and then Simon always kind of, he, he says he makes arrangements but he kind of coaxes it, he might cut and paste something and trim something. It's always going into seven somehow. When it's in four or three, Simon often says it's going into seven and then when the part is in seven, Simon's always like, no, I think that should be in six. So that's um, a neat little writing dynamic that goes on uh, between the three of us. This uh, project not only is experimenting with different sounds and different uh, arrangements and creative approach, but it, it makes it special because of all the other musicians that are on it, such as Matt Bissonnette, Derek Sharanian, and Greg Howie. Yeah, the new Darwin. It was it was great. It was fun. It it really was. It was a lot of fun, and it was a lot. It was a lot of guitar playing. Um, I think I'm on 11 tracks, maybe 12 tracks, and, and then there's sort of like multiple guitar parts on some of those tracks. So there's, if you like Greg Howe, you're gonna get a lot of that. It's really nice working with. Darwin because he's very clear about what it is he's looking for. I track some stuff and he'll say, you know, on this song I'm looking for these sort of long notes. Uh, on this other song I'm looking for this kind of vibe, maybe an exotic feel. He knows what he's looking for. I always enjoy playing on Darwin Records. The four songs that I played on were a great mixture of heaviness and progressive and fusion and just awesome. Simon on drums and the writing and production and Mohini Day on bass. I was very impressed with her and I've been hearing her name a lot and I think that we all will too. I think she's fantastic. I come from a very, very different background growing up playing with uh, different jazz artists and a lot of uh, Carnatic musicians coming from India. And uh, I think my transition has been really interesting coming from uh, I would say pseudo jazz background, um, mixed fusion, you know, and then slowly transitioning into this really rock type of uh, approach. It's been really, really fun. And, you know, as a kid growing up, I really hated metal and rock music, but uh, now playing rock really is fun. There's a vibe, a definite vibe. So this is more of a, a band feeling, nice feeling for the whole album that goes all the way through. I learnt in the studio with other musicians and there's this something you get by working together for a couple of hours on a tune you cannot replace. It's how we always used to do it back in the day. We always had, you know, we booked a studio, everybody sat in the studio and made a record. I love recording like this. Mm -hmm.